We are catching up here with David Bolin. We're hanging out in his tent, looking at his incredible artwork. Good morning, David. Good morning, Claire. Now, you're no stranger to the Keystone Arts Festival. No, no, I'm not. This is the second year for the festival. I was here last year. It was a great show last year, and I'm back again this year, so. Well, let's get into it. Let's talk about your art, because it's really incredible. And I'm just wondering, how did you get started down this path? Well, that's, I've been doing this professionally for 31 years. Uh, I was in Glacier National Park in Montana in 1985 and was photographing grizzly bears. And I thought at that, that period of time, I thought, this is what I want to do for a living. And I talked to my wife and we decided this is what we're going to do. And that's what we've been doing ever since. And how has your art changed in the intervening years? Oh, it's evolved. I started out as a wildlife photographer and evolved into Western and doing flowers, black and white, fine art, uh, just whatever caught my fancy. I never pigeonholed myself into one thing because I thought if I like it, try it. And that's what I've been doing ever since. I'm always changing. And how has technology affected your art? Oh, goodness. Uh, the film days were fantastic, but uh, there was so much uncertainty and you'd send your film off, you don't know what you're going to get till you get it back. Digital has just revolutionized everything. You can take a four or five memory cards with you, which is equivalent to taking maybe three or four hundred rolls of film. And it's just made it so much easier. You have so much control with a digital darkroom versus the old standard darkroom. Well, let's talk about what we're seeing here. Okay. Um, most of this is art, Western artwork. It is. And is it shot in Colorado or all over the U uh, uh, U.S.? Most of this is Colorado for this particular venue. And I basically wanted it to be Colorado because people that are visiting here want to see local art. And 85% uh, of my work here, or 90% possibly, is Colorado work. And I think you mentioned your horses were one of your more partic uh, popular subject matters. They are. They, they, they people like horses. They, they generally just really love them. And uh, pe people are very passionate about horses. And I've, I am myself, and I've concentrated on that for the past 12 or 15 years, just wanting anywhere I can find horses, particularly wild horses. That's what I like to do. And I just noticed here, and we talked about this, this is a relatively new picture that you recently took. It is, it is. That's a new one. Uh, that's here in Colorado with the old mine in the fall with the aspens, and it's, uh, it's doing well. I mean, it's its first season out, so I'm kind of proud of it. It's done well. So, David, you're going to be here all day today and tomorrow? Yes, uh, here today from 10 to 5. That's the show hours. Uh, I have been known to stay later depends on the crowds and tomorrow 10 to 5 as well thank you so much your artwork is gorgeous it was great to catch up with you well, thank you thank you very much Claire. we've got more epic morning but first I've got your weather coming up after a short break